So uh, this is my review on a new pair of running shoes I just bought. I've uh, had them for about three weeks now. Um, I've managed to run about 30 miles in them, um, and they're by Asics. Now, I've been a long-time Nike runner um, for about the past 10 years, um, but I haven't been too thrilled with all the really ultra-thin, lightweight sneakers that they've been coming out with, so I was on the search for something new. Um, came up with these. They were highly rated, so I thought, all right, I'll give them a try. Um, so a few things that I have noticed about this shoe is that it is extremely snug right in through here, which is good because it locks in your forefoot. But then I find that the, the toe box tends to be really wide. Now, of course, Nikes are narrow. Um, these are probably a wider shoe regardless. So it kind of felt like my my you know my toes were kind of flopping around in there, even though the, they weren't. Um, so it was pretty locked in, nice and solid. Uh, a few things like this gel pack back here. Um, I felt so I'm not much of a heel striker. I'm more of a forefoot striker. And uh, this the heel pads uh, seem to be really nice on the uh, back dirt roads with a lot of gravel. Uh, well, what I liked about the two was the styling. Had this little camo. You know, that doesn't affect your performance. But the, uh, the styling of the shoe I thought was pretty solid. But they did a really nice job with this. Um, if you can also see here in the front here, there's also some more gel pads right here on the forefoot, um, which is nice, really comfortable shoe. Like I said, um, solid, solid, solid. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, there's not much more to say about a running shoe realistically, um, kind of hit those key points. You know, if you're running on dirt roads and rocks, um, you're not going to feel too much of what's underneath your foot. Highly supportive, lots of good cushioning and a uh, pretty decent style from Asics. So uh, yeah, and there's also a, um, this is the first version of this shoe, uh, but there's a second version out, but I think it's just the only thing that matters is the, the color schemes are different in version two versus, uh, versus this version. And the bottoms are right here. Um, as you can see, you know, fairly flat bottom. I'm used to those little Nike nubs that are usually on the shoes. But uh, so that took a little bit getting used to, but after like three miles, I didn't even realize it anymore. Um, very interesting back back heel piece here. Um, but yeah, anyway, pretty decent shoe.